joining me now is my friend Robbie Picard from Oil Sands Strong. Robbie, thanks for agreeing to come on the show. As soon as I heard that Justin Trudeau's No More Pipelines law was struck down, I knew I had to talk to you um, because you've been such an advocate against this law for a very long time. What was your first reaction? I mean, this is a, a court challenge that was brought by Jason Kenney, continued by Daniel Smith. Um, oh, what was your first reaction when you heard, yes, he lost? Um, I was absolutely thrilled, but candidly, I wasn't that surprised. I always thought that that law was a massive overreach, and I felt that it was uh, literally a way to suppress and hold back Alberta and put us in a position that we're sort of, I don't know, subservient to our overloads or overlords in Ottawa that don't have any sense. So I wasn't surprised, uh, but I was absolutely thrilled. And I hope it's the beginning of us reclaiming our sovereignty when it comes to our energy resources. Yeah, I mean, it was struck down on the um, on the opinion of the court in a 5-2 decision that it was reaching into things that are provincial jurisdiction. But I thought it was uh, strange because there was, you know, one sort of kooky dissenting voice in all of this. Um, and that was, I'm just scrolling down. Um Supreme Court Justice Sheila Greckel. She was a dissenter on this and she wrote, Our planet is on fire. We need water, not heat. I assume she doesn't live in northern Alberta like you do. <laughs> uh, once again, uh, it, it goes to show you that the I, I, I'd make the argument that the so-called green energy movement has sabotaged common sense of all and I, I'll be honest, Sheila, I'm finding myself really hard pressed for any type of carbon action in Canada, period. We are only 1.0% of all global warming. And what I find very interesting is, is that if Canada fell off the face of the earth tomorrow and we did not exist, we'd make zero difference when it comes to global emissions. But we're taxing ourselves, penalizing ourselves, stopping pipelines. And if you look at the current situation in the world right now, what's going on in Israel and other places, you need a strong country that has strong resources, that has good energy, um, that does it environmentally friendly and fiscally responsible. And uh, it, it goes to show you that the, it, it, this is not about law or common sense. It, this is about a woke movement that has poisoned federal politics. You know, I'm so glad you brought up just how this really put wokeness into legislation regarding energy projects. Like, I, I don't even know how, what sort of fevered mind cooked this legislation up. But when you really drill down on what uh, the legislation was, it forced federal regulators. First of all, it created a whole new regulatory body. The other one was working just fine. The National Energy Board was working just fine. It created a whole new regulator and then forced that new regulator to consider woke things like climate change, public health, and the intersection of sex and gender before approving major energy projects. Uh, Robbie, I, I don't think that I'm outing you when I say that you're gay, um, but I think that gay people need jobs too. And what better job than to work in oil and gas to create something that your friends and neighbors need to stay alive while reaping a good salary. You know, I have been finding myself like so perplexed as a gay guy, uh, how the world is shaping up right now. And um, so I did an experiment. I reached out to multiple gay friends of mine, probably about 50. And I asked them, what do all these letters mean? <laughs> these letters used to be LGBT. And candidly, none of them knew. And then I reached out to some of my lesbian friends and they didn't know. So I am really worried that our movement was, that was about equality. We wanted the same right. So like, like I have a boyfriend now, we shacked up. And if I choose, I want to get married. I want that right. Um, but that's where my kind of activism kind of stops because I, I thought of the situation where these like two guys, they, they, they sued this person, the Christian person that didn't approve of gay marriage. They didn't want to make him a wedding cake. And people were all upset about it. And I thought, you know what? If there's only one place to get a wedding cake in town, 
then I would say that was sort of a human rights thing. But if you had an option to go to Costco or somewhere else to get a cake, then that is an individual right. So why would I want someone making me my cake that didn't support the fact that I wanted to get, get married? We've gone to the point now where it's beyond equality. It's infringing on other people's rights. And it, it is going to be a vicious pendulum that is going to come swinging back. And the very rights of the, the same equality we could potentially lose. And I think the biggest problem is, is that I'm all for, you know, you're 18 years old um, and you want to get a sex change and you want to chop it off, go nuts. But I don't believe anyone under 18 and frankly, 18 plus the mind is developed enough yet to make that decision. And you certainly don't need to take that difficult problem of trans identity and sexual orientation and sexual identity and all that stuff that has zero to do with pipelines, that has zero to do with anything else. And we have gotten this society so whack now that everything's somehow connected when they're not. And oil and gas, and candidly, particularly here in Fort McMurray, where you have a very vibrant and affluent gay population that is doing very well, we need to protect oil and gas because that is what provides the equality for everybody. But I am very worried that this movement has gone so far that they don't even know what they're pushing for and the pendulum is going to come back and it's not going to be pretty. Oh, hey, what you just saw there is a clip from my weekly full-length show, The Gun Show. It airs on Wednesday, but this is the internet. You can watch it whenever you feel like. You just have to become a subscriber to our paywalled premium content. Just go to rebelnewsplus.com to become a member today.